Hello everyone and welcome back to Lakeside and uh, it's Sunday afternoon uh, about five o'clock ish I think something like that um, been lovely and warm out there but it's only 17 degrees in here um, so it's a nice place to come and cool off um, so I've got a couple of things to show you um, that's three locomotives uh, fairly new to me and um, the Magna Rail or the start of the Magna Rail anyway so let's crack on with it and uh, see how we go. Okay, so see you in a minute. Bye. Hello again and welcome back to uh, Lakeside. And um, so first up of the locomotives is the Hatner's Class 66, which I'm sure you've all seen before, um, but I just run it past you again. Let's bring it into shot. So these are all fairly new to the layout. So there she is in all her glory. Um, no sound fitted as yet, but I'm working on that one. Um, <clears throat> I think this one deserves sound. Um, and I think I'll put probably put an EM2 speaker in it, or an EM1, one of the two. I've already got an EM1, so I might fit that in instead. But um, whatever happens, I'll just probably get a Lego Man Biffo sound decoder and um, put the speaker in. Um, so that really takes care of the Class 66 from Hattons. So let's take her out of the way. Right, next up is a class 33 which I got a week or so ago a couple of weeks ago um, I saw it um, on Facebook actually um, and um, I loved it absolutely loved it and it fitted in nicely with the EWS loco livery uh, should I say of the 66 so I fitted sound to this one and uh, I think she looks absolutely gorgeous and sounds gorgeous too. So let's bring her into shot. Slightly overshot it there. So there it is in all her glory. EWS 33030 um, in the EWS livery. And uh, as I say, I've fitted sound to it and fitted a double iPhone speaker to it and I've placed that in the fuel tanks underneath here so let's switch that on it sounds like a an old diesel just about on its last legs <laughs> There we go. I love that logo, absolutely love it. Uh, the next one up is a very special logo. It's a Class 47, and um, this was very kindly given to me by my very good friend Rob over at Farland Howe. Um, he said, would I like it? Uh, I snatched his hand off and said, yes, please. So he sent it over to me and um, it came with sound 
um, and so yeah absolutely beautiful loco so let's bring that into the picture should be appearing now there it comes So there we go, what a gorgeous looking loco, thank you so much Rob, um, it's absolutely beautiful, um, it's named Thor and um, it's absolutely pristine, absolutely pristine, runs like a dream around the layout and um, the only thing I have done is fit a snow plow on it, um, but yeah that was it really. Um, I don't know if he's got a driver, yes, I think it has got a driver in it. Um, and that's really all I've done, just fitted a snowplow to it, um, which I think it deserved. So let's hear her start up. myself speak now um, so I've just added some waste paper bins along the area there plus one there and there's another one somewhere oh yeah just there so I think that now completes that area um, oh yeah one important point after many moans at me for not having the correct lines on the road, I've now got two solid lines, white lines, uh, going across the stop area here. So I think that should now all be hunky-dory as regards the road signs. If not tough, um, that's the way it's going to stay. So, yep, yeah, that's the bus station now complete, I think. Um, no doubt many of you are going oh well, it needs this sign that sign no there's no more signs going up that's your lot um, I don't want it to be overcrowded with signs I know there's many more to come up um, should I need to like no entry and everything but no that's going to be the lot so on to the next major part so with the roadway now pretty much done it's apart from that end there a little bit of work left to do on there but the rest of the roadway is now pretty much done the bus is behaving itself that's fine um, the lights are all working in it obviously um, my little garage scene there the flashing lights on the um, truck they're all okay and working so I'm reasonably happy with that, and, but no doubt I will look at it and go, oh, actually that needs a whatever, a blah -de blah on it, and I will fit the blah -de blah But um, for the moment, for the time being, <clears throat> I'm going to leave it at that and uh, just admire the scene, because I think that's come out looking actually amazing. Got to say thanks again to Jeff for giving me the building at the back, the bus station building. Um, it's changed a few times since I originally got it but I've ended up with that now and I think that looks splendid in that scene there. Really liking it. Okay, right, so with the back scene virtually finished and the platform virtually finished apart from a few other bits um, there will always be a few other bits, won't there? Always. I'm now turning my attention to the village. 
and the village now is going to consist of this board here and you can see what's on the board it's a magna rail but I've had to order some more magna rail rail <laughs> um, because I'm short so I've got to go from there down and join up to here so what will happen is that um, these are going to be cyclists uh, where are they? they're over there just there now I've had this running and it moves about six inches because I can't move it any more than that because obviously I've come to the end here and I've come to the end here so I need or I've ordered some more track to join up with this so it will go along in front of these houses here and in front of that row of houses and then the cyclist will nip up the side go along the back a little wiggly wiggly effort there what's going to happen here there's going to be a tree trunk in their way um, which obviously I can't put on yet because I've got to put on a, another layer here yet to be level with the top of the track um, but there will be if you imagine the layer on the top here there will be a tree trunk here which normally the cyclists would have gone on a straight line um, but they're avoiding the tree trunk so they're coming around the corner here back round through the side of this house here and then back along the high street now um, I had three options here I had the option of having this resting on this part of the baseboard I had the option of it coming up a little bit further and I had the option of it coming up level with the road here and that's the option I've decided to do now before what I was going to do I was going to have this this part of the wall would come out um, and then there'll be the road coming down on a hill and going into the village I'm not having that now I'm having this block here this piece of hardboard um, not hardboard MDF um, I'm having that at the same height as this road here so it will be a continuous road running right the way through to here and then it will go over it will go over and round and get narrower and narrower until it meets the entrance to the manor house turning off of that here will be a large radius coming down and meeting this effort here which is the yard for the diesels and the other wagons um, so that's the plan so I just need to take this part of the walling out this top section and continue the road along and onto this baseboard so this baseboard is going to be lifted up slightly lower than the height of this because I've obviously got to build up the road to the height of this track here so the houses will be slightly higher everything will be slightly higher this is just really the mounting board if you like for everything else my intention is that what I want to see is on my camera when I fit it to the track here and I have it going along I want it to be pointing and you will see the cyclists you can see the cyclists there um, you will see the cyclists going along the top of the hill if you like um, or the verge uh, from this angle here a bit difficult to describe but if you imagine it's a good couple of inches higher then the camera will be either slightly lower or level with the cyclist and that will give you a shot like that something like that when it's on the track so that's the plan 
And then of course this will all be gardens here for the houses um, with some bushes here for the end of the garden and this will be like a cycle track running at the back of the gardens. So that's the way it will be. This will come onto a road here. The road will carry on but the cyclists shoot up the side here to a little track and obviously again come down the track and join the road here and that road joins up with this road. So that's the way it's going to be looking but I'm quite a long way away from that scene at the moment as you can appreciate. So I've run out of this stuff but I've got some on order and that should be, be with me hopefully Wednesday stroke Thursday. Um, I can then finish this route off and then I can start playing around with jacking this board up level with this area here to do the road. Um, so I was going to have that sunk down as I said um, with a slope coming down from there but I want it elevated uh, to the same level with just a slope down here to the yard. So that's the way it's looking at the moment here. Now this side here will be extended out slightly and that will include the pub, the store and of course Thatch Cottage where I live and the garage and we are just up in the roof here for those who haven't seen it before that's where I'm actually filming right now and that will be roughly where that is on the corner there but slightly further in because obviously this will be built up as well and that will then lead to the manor house which is at the moment sitting there in the meantime I've got to finish off that section of the landscaping across there the tunnel entrance and the platform so there is quite a bit of work to do but I would like to first of all because this is modular um, I would like to at least finish this area first so that I can get the bikes running uh, they do run because I've obviously tested it but they only literally move a few inches um, but at least I know it works and that really is the update so it's not a huge amount so three locos some waste paper bins added to that scene and the start of the magna rail and two bikes and the village going back in again so there we go all done and dusted <coughs> excuse me so I should be now working on this side of the layout this is where you're going to be see me mainly working now over here and that will then give me three quarters of the layout once this side is done that will then give me three quarters of the layout built because I've obviously got this going around here and the engine sheds across to there and then that leaves all this area here to do which may change but I won't go into that just yet that's for another session but I want to concentrate on this section now of the layout okay so I think that's about it for now um, so three new locos finish that off and starting this all good stuff really pleased with it really pleased with it so far so for the bikes 
while I'm waiting for the chain I've got to now finish the bikes off, paint those up, put the people on and they'll be done. Clever system, I like it. I like it. I'm actually using an old Hornby controller to control this and uh, it works very well. Right, okay that's it folks, so I hope you enjoyed that brief update and um, hopefully I'll speak to you again next weekend. Um, stay, excuse me, stay safe and uh, keep smiling, keep smiling, it's really important. Okay folks, bye for now and uh, hope you enjoyed this, so bye.